What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome to part 33 of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. In the last episode, we got going here in the uh, in the hideout, just took on grunt after grunt after grunt. Maybe the admin here, and then more grunts. Uh, we defeated Lysander, but that's only the beginning of it, because, well, we're going to be fighting him again in this episode. I'll go ahead and say that, but we did get the elevator key from Mabel, which, by the way, is in the easternmost room, so that's kind of the room you're trying to get to. Um, if you didn't miss the last episode, but we can take it down to basement floor number two and here we go, man We're gonna be walking down a little bit walking down the stairs a little bit more and then bam look at him Behind bars and Lysander's talking to him. Yo, we thought Lysander was tall Look at look at the dude man the dude that we saw back in the desert route who kind of just mysteriously walked away Yeah, he's here again all trapped up and uh, Look I'm no Pokemon historian or anything but um I'm going to try my best to explain this whole plot and whatnot. Basically, there was uh, this same guy. AZ is his name. Um, don't don't ask me how he's still alive after all this time. I have no idea. He's like defying the laws of life. I mean, dude has lived for like thousands of years. Um, but yeah, he had a Floet. The Floet, I think, died in the Great Pokemon War or something like that. It's the thing that Lieutenant Surge always talks about. You know, whatever he be yapping about sometimes. And, uh, then he tried to bring it back using the ultimate weapon. And, uh, yeah, that's, I think, where you get the ultimate weapon nowadays. I don't think it worked. Or maybe he never fired it. One of those two. But basically, that's why Team Flare's trying to get to him. Because, uh, you know, he knows about the ultimate weapon. Or he at least tried to use it back in the day. Um, but also, Cena and Dexio in the last episode, they were trying to reach this guy, but I guess Team Flare got to him before that, because, yeah, he's locked up behind these, like, electric jail, or this electric jail cell, or whatever. But yeah, there's the ultimate weapon. Um, hey, there's the Floet. Hey, he brought him back, but I think it, like, didn't it wipe out everyone else, or something crazy? It goes pretty deep, honestly, I think. I think it does. Um, I'm sure if I actually read this dialogue, you know, then I would know. But yeah, apparently he was still, looks like he was still mad, and what did he do? Kill every other Pokemon? Like, dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. Does that include my boy, Turtwig? Oh, nah. Nah, see, that's where we got problems. Look, I know I'm trying to save this dude from Team Flare, but... Hey, we got problems if you try, if you try to do that. Yeah, so there we go. It's called the Ultimate Weapon. Um, and he used it to try and wipe out every other Pokemon. But I feel like that would include him and his Floet too. I mean, how are you avoiding this ultimate weapon? Look at this thing. Look at the explosion on the map. Look at that. No one's living that. Especially if you're like right next to it to set it off. Dude, look at it. Um, So that's kind of what Team Flare is trying to redo like right now. Which definitely makes you question like, dude, what are they doing? Like, what is the evil team's goal in this game? But yeah, you can't skip this cutscene at all. Um... And, I mean, you don't even have to hit A to progress, but I'm still hitting A because, you know. So, yeah, Floet got all sad, and I think it went away again. Um, spoiler alert, but, well, I, I guess I won't say that just in case y'all have never been to the end of Pokemon X and Y. The end of the main story, that is. So, I won't say anything. But yeah, um, can we can we wrap this up, man? We got some more battles to get to. I mean, without this story, dude, I could have already defeated the next trainer we got to take on. But yeah, this episode uh, probably won't be as long as the last one. Um, because I think I'm only going to do a couple battles in this video. And then the one after this, though, that'll be like the big grand finale. That'll be like the, uh, you know, we take on and defeat Team Flare once and for all. So he kind of does a bit of explaining. Lysander's like, yeah, that's AZ. Now I'm going to head out jokes on you i already knew that was az man so uh yeah there's nothing you can do you can talk to them but um yeah they're like oh my gosh team flares idiots because they're trying to you know they're they're trying to uh use the weapon again and they think it's going to work even though it's not so once you've listened to all that now you're going to be able to head i think down to what floor three yeah now that floor opens up and guess what we're going to have another admin battle yeah that's right you guessed it you guessed it man um, nothing over here, but this is not going to be Lysander or any of the other ones. It's going to be this Zero Zitch guy, or however you say this dude's name. Um, so yeah, I've always struggled to say this guy's name, I'm not going to lie. And he's always creeped me out too, bro. He's just got, like, I'm hoping that's a mask? Or I don't know, and he, like, covers his eyes with those red glasses. 
So yeah, kind of crazy. Um, Lysander's just gonna walk off, let him sort of deal with us, but I mean, we're gonna do what we've done to all the other admins, so let's do it. Let's do this. But yeah, this dude doesn't have like one thing of skin showing. He's even got gloves on, he's got pants. I mean, what is this dude up to, man? But anyways, he'll begin with Crobat, which is why I got my Avalug up front. This thing knows X Scissor, Steel Wing, Cross Poison, and Air Slash, but uh, doesn't really stand much of a chance against Avalug. Um, even though I wish he hit me with that first Air Slash, because Avalanche would have killed. But you know, sometimes that happens. You never, you never get hit when you're going for Avalanche. And his second mod is going to be a uh, a Malamar, so something we haven't seen in here for once. Like that's nice to see. Uh, Malamar's Dark and Psychic. Also, hold on. Getting Wood Hammer. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I've been talking about this. Getting a physical grass type move, and we finally got one. Thank goodness. And you know what? Casper, you're getting uh, rewarded by learning that move, new move by going into battle. I know you guys might think this is crazy sending out a uh, Ghost type against a Dark type, but remember, we do indeed have X Scissor. So we can. Uh, Go for that. I don't think Payback's going to kill us. Um, ooh. <laughs> One more would. But yeah, along with Payback, it has Superpower, Psycho Cut, and Retaliate. And that's it for this Zero Zitch guy, or however you want to say his name. Maybe Zero Sitch? I don't know. It's an S, not a Z. And he just turns around. Now, after this battle, you're almost done in here, but he's going to give you the option of pressing either that red or orange button. Or, okay, not red or orange. The red or blue, or maybe orange or blue, whatever you want to call it. Um, he says, he claims that, oh my gosh, one's going to fire the ultimate weapon and the other's going to save the world. Uh, don't stress about it. Um, both of them are going to do the same thing. This this does not matter. I mean, come on, do you think Pokemon really give you a decision like that in a game? No. So I'm just going to go with blue because I think I like it more. But then he's going to turn in and be like, haha, you know, it didn't matter. Oh, what an idiot. You activated the weapon. Um, but it's gonna be okay because after this little cutscene, which I guess they've got like a live feed going from Geo Town, which by the way, that is where the ultimate weapon is. Yeah, remember those like three kind of weird looking stones? Yeah, all of a sudden, this is where the ultimate weapon comes out of. This was a pretty crazy cutscene. I mean, back in the day for 2013, this was pretty dope. Probably one of the cooler cutscenes, uh, for Pokemon, um, up to this point at least. But yeah, so now that we've activated this, which again, either button is going to activate it. The same thing happens, even if you press the orange one. Uh, we're going to need to head back to Geosinge Town. And if you remember, oh man, if you thought the Lysander Labs was the only secret base that Team Flare has, well, well, you will be surprised. You'll be shocked, even. You'll be shocked. So yeah, there goes the ultimate weapon. Look at that thing. I mean, we're dead, right? We're just dead. But no, I don't think it... I mean, it doesn't, like, actually go off, though, because... We don't die after this. I mean, this is Pokemon. Come on. It looks like it's going, though, but I can't really remember what happens. Does it just, like, stop, or does it go off and then not do anything, which also wouldn't really make sense? All right, well, there it is. Yo, you got to feel bad for the people living in Geosinch Town, though. Come on, look at the houses, man. <laughs> hey, look at the houses. They're down. I mean, imagine just chilling in your living room. I mean, you had no idea this was going on in the middle of the town, and then all of a sudden... That thing appears. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultimate weapon's there. All right. We're almost ready to activate it. Yada, yada. No, you're not. Stop lying to yourself. But, yeah, we're done in Lysander Labs now. So, there's no more floors to this place. We can get on out of here. And I think this is, like, the last time we'll need to be in here. So, that's nice to know. We can, uh... We can say bye to these loser waiters outside. Yo, y'all better... I deserve some free food for all that I'm doing, man. Y'all better give me some. All right, well, we're back outside, meaning we can take off to Geosinch Town. Um, so let's go ahead and use Fly. Definitely nice to have that at this point in the game. And yeah, if you remember, way back when we first got to Geosinch Town, in the northwest corner of the town, we saw like a Team Flare Grunt kind of walking down a path. And then we followed him and he just disappeared and there was just this big rock at the end. Well... Um, if you couldn't tell, the Big Rock is actually a secret entrance to a whole nother base for Team Flare that, uh, you're gonna have to work through. Good news is, you're not gonna have to do it alone, because your rival will be alongside with you, so I guess that's kind of nice. You know, for once, one of the protagonists are actually helping you out. I know, isn't that, isn't that crazy, man? Isn't that crazy? Alright, 
Trevenant, you can get up front. You're the only uh, you're the only one that's not in the 50s. But yeah, Team Flare's like overrun this town now. We got people just blocking in people. Like, dude, what do these random citizens do to you? Why are you just blocking their front door? But yeah, here we go. This dude is standing on the path. He thinks he's going to stop us. After all that we've, you know, all the people we've defeated. I mean, come on now. Be for real. So you're going to have to take down this guy's team of three. But yeah, the rival will uh, also use their full team. Still, by the way, uh, some of their mods don't have a full set of moves, which I know I say it all the time, but it's just dumb. It's dumb, in my opinion. Like, why do you not give them full moves or full move sets? But uh, they do have four Pokemon, so again, the double battles, you're always going to have a teammate. I'm pretty sure you get healed up automatically, too, so that's also a big, uh, a big old plus to, to working with your rival, which again could either be Serena or Callum or Calum. However you want to say the other dude. But yeah, let's go out to uh, to Florges for the Scrafty. And then this guy's going to have one more mod. And yeah, get ready to uh, definitely make sure you're healed up before going in here. Because you're going to get into another Lysander battle right off the bat. Um, I said in the last episode, you know, defeating him that first time, that didn't really matter. We got to fight him a couple more times. That is for sure, man. That is for sure. Shiverburn level 52, I love that name still, and speaking of him, he can get out here for this Golbat, why don't you, man? Should be a pretty easy counter, and then I think I'll probably throw Floor just back to the front. Actually, you know what, no, probably Halucha. Alright, hit me, hit me, yeah, there you go, good job hitting me. Little do you know, you did a whopping 9 hit points, and now you powered up my avalanche. Um, yeah, that's great that that is a negative priority move. That is huge, man. That is huge. Especially on a Pokemon. Uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter for Avalok. He's just getting outsped like 95% of the time anyways. Let's be honest. Alright, so he's going to walk off. And uh, yeah, you just got to sort of follow this guy down. But let me go ahead and throw Nachos to the front. And let's uh, head down this path. So I can't remember. Is it opened up already? Yeah, all of a sudden like... They, they didn't bother to, like, try to replace these boulders um, to show that there's nothing here. They just kind of left it open. Like, great idea, guys. So, yeah, there was Serena, um, who said she's going to follow us in, yet she's not on the elevator with us. So, hey, thanks. No, thanks for that. You know, for real, needed that, man. All right, so take the elevator down. You can head on out. And we get into this big old room. Oh, my gosh, there's so many people. But, no, nah, I don't think any of these people battle you. I'll check just in case, but uh, you're going to want to make your way up these stairs. And look, they got the evil scientist working with them. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, let's see. Y'all got anything for me? I don't think they do. I don't think you really get any items in here till like the very end. Alright, well, Lysander. Look at him. He, he thinks he's got aura over here. Um, yeah, I guess, by the way, I guess this is like underground and uh, they're looking at some type of egg down there. Now, Spoiler alert, that'll eventually pop out into the uh, box art legend of whichever game you're playing. So either Xerneas or Yveltal. But here we go. Um, yeah, Serena catches up. And I can't remember if this ends up being a double battle. Uh, let's find out, though. Or is Serena just going to sit back and watch you? But yeah, this is uh, this is Lysander's battle number two. You know, didn't really, didn't really care that we beat him the first time. He wants to fight us again. And let's see, is it? I don't think it's a double battle. I don't think so. We do have some double battles coming up with the rival, as I said. But yeah, it's not. All right, so his team is basically the same besides he evolved his Murkrow. Um, so I guess that's something. Um, so it's now a Honchkrow. But again, if you beat him in the cafe just fine, you'll probably have no issues here. Um, that thing has acrobatic Swords Dance, and High Jump Kick. I want to say their movesets are exactly the same as... The, uh, the last episode, so I'm probably not going to like repeat what I've been saying. But yeah, here comes the Honchkrow. His levels did go up a little bit, though, that's for sure. Um, I think each Pokemon gained, what, two levels, something like that. You've probably gained more after fighting all those Grunts, though. So again, I would not really... I would never really worry about this. Granted, his Gyarados has, uh, has given me some trouble just because I don't really have an Electric-type move, but... Avalanche should handle the Honchkrow. Boom, just like that. We're o Cohen is Mons. Easily, baby, easily. And hey, there we go. Trevenant level 50. Nice. Alright, so, um, no, I'm gonna pass on Skydrop. So, the team, I mean, my newest team members are almost caught up with the squad. I may, like, keep the EXP share on through this kind of area. 
uh, through the whole team flare stuff and then turn it off afterwards for kind of the home stretch of the game. I think that's what I'll probably end up doing. But now that everyone's in the 50s, I feel pretty good, pretty good. All right, here's Pyroar. Again, he's trying to copy us with his own Pyroar. I mean, come on, man. Be original, Lysander. Be original, dude. All right, down he goes. And last up is going to be that Gyarados. So he saved his best for last. Um, it's going to be level 51. So a little higher level than some of my mons. But I'll go to my special attacker, even though it's got Iron Head. So this is going to be this is going to go the same as last time. I'm going to get off like one Dazzling Gleam and then die probably. But I also don't really want anyone else taking the Intimidate. Yo, by the way, I just remembered. We still have Tackle on this thing. Dude, besides Dazzling Gleam and Petal Blizzard, this moveset is pathetic. <laughs> oh, man. You know, if we somehow do manage to live another uh, Iron Head, though, we are going to take it out. The Rocky Helmet damage is always nice to have. And, oh, man, close. But it goes down to the Rocky Helmet. Kind of stinks because we don't get any experience for that. Well, I guess the rest of the team will, thanks to the EXP share. So that's one nice thing about having it turned on. And oh my gosh, you can't believe it. Like, dude, you didn't change your team from 20 minutes ago when I fought you. Like, what did you expect? So yeah, it's like, it's still too late. I'm going to go down to the lowest floor. Um, So you can sort of see the entrance. And yeah, he's just going to stand here. And then um, you and Serena will take off down to the... Lower floors, which, again, be prepared. Bunch of battles coming up. But I think that's going to do it for this video. For now, hope y'all enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, deuces.